Well, good morning, everyone, or good evening, if you're watching this in the evening. Um, these indeed are unprecedented times, and we are all living, it's like the Second World War again, but with an unseen enemy. And um, the world over, everyone is affected. There was a time when relatives way back in Africa who are in the villages did not know much about this pestilence. However, it has since caught up and it's spread everywhere. Um, as most of you would know, you know, I do have relatives in Southern Africa, in Zimbabwe, in, uh, and in South Africa itself. Uh, I do have a brother there and uh, nephews. We just need to pray for them. They are all in self-isolation and obviously lockdown there is very strict. You have to observe it. It is uh, enforced by the authorities. So fortunately, by the grace of the Lord, you know, my family are all well. All we can do, please, is just pray really for our leaders, for the leaders of those nations, grant them wisdom to be able to access the health uh, facilities that are on offer, be it through United Nations or non-governmental organizations. Let's just pray for them to have the wisdom to access those uh, facilities and extend the help, particularly to the masses who do not have the means. So those are some points for prayer, ladies and gentlemen. We do hear about the South African strain. I do actually have a nephew, my late brother's son, who contracted it just around Christmas time. And um, he battled, but by the grace of the Lord, fit young man, mid thirties, who goes to the gymnasium, is bounced back okay and is back at work. But it really is a, a very, very worrying time for anyone. So anyway, let's turn to the word. Uh, the reading today is from Luke chapter 15. I'll be reading from verses 11 to 32. I shall be using the NLT. I tend to use this because it, it is easy, I suppose, for younger people and those who might not be familiar with uh, reading the Bible. To illustrate the point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him and the man sent him into the fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, at home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare. And here I am dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. Please, take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Oh, father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast for this son of mine was dead and is now returned to life. He was lost. But now he is found. So the party began. Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. 
When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told. And your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came and begged him, but he replied, all these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to do. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet this son of yours comes back after squandering your money on prostitutes. You celebrate by killing the fattened calf. His father said to him, look, dear son, you have always stayed with me and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. 